The Delta variant of the coronavirus is spreading and is now responsible for 83% of new COVID cases in the U.S. Now a preliminary study not yet peer-reviewed suggests that Johnson & Johnson vaccine may not be as effective against the Delta variant as the other two authorized vaccines. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez sorts it out for us. The J&J &J vaccine has been given to more than 13 million people, many of whom have always been somewhat anxious about whether they're as protected against the Delta or Lambda variants as the people who received the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. That anxiety has been made worse by the latest NYU study that has been posted to what's known as a preprint site, meaning it has not been peer-reviewed for publication in a scientific journal. Those conclusions differ from smaller clinical results released by J&J &J earlier this month that said a single dose of their vaccine did protect against Delta, even eight months after inoculation. Those differences could be because the new study looked at antibodies in the lab compared to real-world immunity in people, which would include T-cell immunity. Peer-reviewed would help determine that contribution to protection. Experts also made it clear that the J&J vaccine still provides protection against all variants of the coronavirus, just not as much perhaps as Moderna or Pfizer. What's not yet known is whether mixing and matching different brands is safe as boosters. There is some data, not yet published, not yet peer-reviewed, coming out of the UK that suggests that mixing and matching brands, getting a Moderna or Pfizer shot after a virus shot, such as the J&J &J vaccine, is not only safe, but produces a much stronger immune response, and so may even be advisable. But we don't know that yet. We won't know it for sure until data are submitted and peer-reviewed, hopefully soon. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.